Okay, let's try this one. So calculate the molarity of a solution made by diluting 50 mils, we'll put a decimal point after that 50, 50 mils of 0 0.10 molar HCl solution to a volume of one liter, okay? The one thing that we need is that those uh, units have to cancel, right? So the units have to be the same. So are the volume units the same before and after? Are we seeing the same units? So we're going to have to convert one to the other. Normally you want to keep them in like liters because that's the common, you know, molarity unit, okay? So do we, so what, what was the formula that we're going to use, guys? M1V1 M2. equals M2V2. Good job, guys. Do we know any of those things? Mm -hmm. What do we know? So let's write, let's write all of these variables down really quick. M1, V1, M2, V2. So again, this is like, remember how we did the ideal gas law problems, how we were writing these things down? This is the exact same thing we're going to do here, okay? So do we know M1? Yeah. Yes. What is that? Okay, so it says, 0 0.10 molarity is the initial concentration of the solution, right? Do we know the initial volume, V1? 50 milliliters. Yes, it's 50 milliliters. And remember, we're going to put that decimal point there just to keep sick face. Um, do we know the molarity, the final molarity? No. So that's what we're looking for. And do we know the final volume? Yeah. Yeah. It's what? 1.0 1. 1. 1. liters. So what did we say? We're going to have to convert that to another, right? The other thing we want to do, let's isolate the variable M2, okay? So how do we isolate that variable? Divide We're going to divide v2 both? By yeah, by V2. Very good, guys. So what's our new formula? It's M2 equals what? M1, V1, divided by V2, right? Does that make sense to everyone? Okay. So now, well, let's convert this. Does that make sense? Is there any questions about that one? 